Dear students, welcome to another video. Hope you are doing okay and ready for this session of learning. This video is on BMAT Section 2 Chemistry, Separation Techniques. Let us have a look at the learning objectives. Now, let us begin. We know that some liquids mix with each other in all proportions. In other words, they have infinite mutual solubility and are said to be immiscible. Ethanol, sulfuric acid, and ethylene glycol, popular for use as antifreeze, pictured in figure 11.14, are examples of liquids that are completely miscible with water. Liquids that mix with water in all proportions are usually polar substances or substances that form hydrogen bonds. For such liquids, the dipole-dipole attractions, or hydrogen bonding, of the solute molecules with the solvent molecules, are at least as strong as those between molecules in the pure solute, or in the pure solvent. Hence, the two kinds of molecules mix easily. Two liquids that do not mix to an appreciable extent are called immiscible. Layers are formed when we pour immiscible liquids into the same container. Gasoline, oil, figure 11.15, benzene, carbon tetrachloride, some paints, and many other nonpolar liquids, are immiscible with water. The attraction between the molecules of such nonpolar liquids and polar water molecules, is ineffectively weak. Distillation is a technique for separating the components of mixtures that is widely applied in both in the laboratory and in industrial settings. It is used to refine petroleum, to isolate fermentation products, and to purify water. This separation technique involves the controlled heating of a sample mixture to selectively vaporize, condense, and collect one or more components of interest. A typical apparatus for laboratory-scale distillations is shown in figure 11.20. Oil refineries use large-scale fractional distillation to separate the components of crude oil. The crude oil is heated to high temperatures at the base of a tall fractionating column, vaporizing many of the components that rise within the column. As vaporized components reach adequately cool zones during their ascent, they condense and are collected. The collected liquids are simpler mixtures of hydrocarbons and other petroleum compounds that are of appropriate composition for various applications, e.g., diesel fuel, kerosene, gasoline, as depicted in figure 11.21. Paper chromatography is used to separate solutes that are dissolved in a solvent using a paper. The retention factor value, RF, is calculated by dividing the distance traveled by the species under investigation by the distance in which the solvent has traveled. Separating funnel. Two immiscible liquid can be separated by placing them in a separating funnel as shown in the figure on the left. Centrifugation. This is a laboratory process which uses the centrifugal force of spinning objects to separate out the heavier substances from a mixture. Filtration A piece of filter paper in a funnel can be used to separate a mixture of sand and water. Heating evaporation sometimes, heating a solution causes the water to evaporate, leaving the other part of the mixture behind. You can try this using a salt solution. An impure solid is dissolved in a solvent, and then heated in order to separate by crystallization. Paper chromatography purity. If a substance's purity will produce a single spot, whereas an impure substance produces multiple spots. Thanks again dear students. The next video is on acids, bases and salts.